Hey, it's James from Fitting Electrical. On today's video, we're doing the world's quickest fuse bar changeover. Well, we're gonna try. Let's get into this. Alrighty then, so then, we've got it out of its box then. This is what we're fitting, it's the fuse box, it's a main switch, 100 amp main switch, seven way. So what we're gonna do is install SPD in that, because this current one hasn't got SPD protection as, and it hasn't got RCD protection. So it's only a little fuse bar that we're swap, swapping it out for a Schneider one. Uh, so it's a four way, I think it does like cooker, sockets, boiler and lights, something like that. Um, so it should be a nice quick one. I sh well, let's see how long it takes, and this is supposed to be like a speed run. Here we go then, so we've got the cover off, a little cupboard door off. So this is one that's getting swapped over then. So look what we've got then, cooker, shower. There we go, a shower. Uh, sockets and lights. So it should be straightforward. So I'll then we'll get this removed. We'll label up the circuits, what there will be in the new fuse board, and then we'll get it swapped over then. So nice and easy. Oh, it's come off, there we go. So that's what we're looking at. Nice and easy then, so there's loads of cables there. Well, there's not really. There's one, two, three, four, five, six cables then to move into the new fuse bar. So it's all flying, nice and easy. Right then, let's level it up then. So we'll have one as, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Forget my memory. Cooker, shower. So we'll have one in the new fuse bar as cooker. So all right, cooker there. We'll, we'll copy it to be fair, cooker, shower. And then what was it? Sockets. We'll, we'll, it looks like there's two rings there. You see there's four cables there. So we've got sockets. I'll put sock, sock, and then we'll go lights. Might rush right in. So that'll be 32, 32, 32. I think we've not got enough, so we'll have to put upstairs on a 20 if it is split up and down. Lights will be on a six, and then we've got spare, spare. Lovely. So here then it's going to go one, it's going to go two, it's going to go three, but if we label all these three and then we can figure out which is three and four, we'll just add a dash to whichever it is. So I can't get into that one, come on, one, two, three, and then we've got four and then this will be five, then we'll have, oh, I've got cobweb on me, go away, it's not right fast is it, one, two, three, four, five, and then this one. Two, three, four, five, and five. Well, I don't know where that one go. Disappears at the wall somewhere, so there we go. So we're going to be using the, this little bad boy that CK gave me. So it's a T4930 little uh, screwdriver, look. Look at that action. So yeah, I'm going to kill power to it, obviously. A little fuse bod fairies are going to come in and disconnect the power, and then we'll just uh, zip in it like that, nice and quick. It's a fire solution, and then this little wizard's gonna come out and then. Get my new charger. There we go, start at 10 past two then. Let's see what how long it'll take then. Then. So we've got this board finally fixed and that's solid is out. So it was a bit uneven wall, so we had to pack it out with some metal penny washers. But I'll show you at the end what it looked like. There we go, slight issue then, so nothing is an actual ring here. So we're gonna put all these on 20s. So I'll put two on one, two on the other. Hopefully I've got another 20 in the van. Yeah, at least can go on them 32, so that's not too bad. Hey, we've got it 
all in then. So that took some doing. So there's not a lot of space. There's a heck of a lot of stuff coming. Batteries die, but there we go. 1551. So we'll come back and show you. I've got to charge it in the van. <laughs> all right, then we're back. <laughs> So there's loads of cables coming through back there. So we've got to get this tidied up, just get uh, some tie wraps in there, tight down that neutral. But not too tight, otherwise uh, you're gonna have group in it, what, and the heat dissipation won't allow it. You know, I got told off for that, having stuff nice and neat and tidy, all tie wrap mounted in, all nice and neat, but there's a thing called grouping. So you'd have to basically derate all your cable factors um, to be able to have a neat fuse board. So, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, yeah, we've just got to tie up a few cables in here, but everything comes rear entry through the back there. And that's nice, neat and sweet, or as neat as we can get it. So, not a lot of room, but yeah, we've done it. So, that is the fast fuse board changeover then. It took an hour and a half to get it all in, so we haven't done too bad. So, that's just a bit of testing. So, we're going to load up the laptop, get a ZD, RCD test, um, insulation resistance, and produce a EIR and a notification that we've done a fuse board changeover. So when you get these works done, you have to uh, ringing me. You have to notify it with the local council that you've done it. Um, so and it, yeah, if you go under, there's also a job value on that. So if anything happens um, and your company goes under, they can still claim and get money back if it happens. So there we go. There we go, all leveled up beautifully. And then what have we got? SPD shower hub socket sockets lights and everything's tested out perfect and we've got an SPD there for any surge protection so if the customer gets any like surges come in it's not going to blow the electronics if they had EV it's not going to blow up the car if they had solar it's going to protect your solar investment which could be tens of thousands well 13 grand with the battery eight ish without well that's all swept up and tidied up then so tell me what you think about these fuse box, uh, main switch and RCBO boards then. So if you get a main switch, SPD, um, that's just a lot of bunch of RCBOs really. So if you let me know in the comments below then. So nice tidy install. They're the cheaper side of the fuse boards, but they're really good quality. Um, so fuse box would come in. When we went down to the Proteus factory um, with Tamlight and whoever CF owns, um, the guy down there were a bit miffed with fuse box saying it's ruined the industry because it's so cheap and there's no profit margin on it and all this so they're doing something to disrupt the market so that's uh, something to say for them hopefully you've enjoyed this little speed run then so what did we get one and a half hours to swap over the board um it would have been a lot quicker but it was a nightmare to get it all leveled off we could have just I don't know, anyone can just throw it in and get any old fixings and not make it level and not make it perfect but um it takes time to get it <clears throat> So we had to pack it out and get it really solid with some penny washer fixings behind, with some penny washers stacks and taped. So it had a nice surface to go on, it was all level. So it took a while to get it perfect and solid. Uh, but yeah, you got to do these things, haven't you? So you don't rush a job and um, do bad quality, you know what I mean? So, but we didn't do too bad, an hour and a half to swap it over. And then testing just took uh, an hour, well, for the same again, to be fair. So, uh, but yeah, there we go. That's the fuse board change, that's the, it's the fuse board speed rub so that's all got time for today then so if you like this kind of content hit the like button hit subscribe hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload so as always have a good one for me and i'll see you on the next one